am honored uh, to be associated with the Fountain Theater. And the Fountain Theater is about art, but art and how it affects human beings of different cultures and bring you and bring attention to uh, change and transformation. I was looking for some way for our theater to express its outrage through art. Uh, and then I discovered Claudia Rankin's book, Citizen, an American Lyric. As soon as I read this book, I saw the play and I knew exactly how I wanted it, it to be. It would be better than to present this play about this topic in a public park with the City Hall of Los Angeles as our background. Yeah. It's just tremendously exciting and, and so thrilling to be launching this new arts festival in Los Angeles. It's not really a play. That's the uh -huh. thing we try to tell people that is, um, it's an adaptation of a, a, a book of poetry, and a meditation on what's it like being um, uh, black in America or, you know, being black in general. Moments of hiccups in society, uh, especially in this society that's supposed to be post-racial. I read the script, it made no sense to me. I met Shirley Jo Finney, the director, and I told her, I don't get it, I, it doesn't make sense to me. She cast me in the play, and at that point I had to say, okay, do I go down this road with this great group of people, or do I fall into the feeling of like, I don't know what this is about, it doesn't speak to me, so I'm not gonna do it. So I opted to take the road less traveled, and it has made all the difference. And it really did show me, and what I learned was what is about the place about, and that is what it really means to be a citizen in today's society. This play is all about the everyday. It's a new way of actually beginning to like, you know, open up this wound of racism and, and racial, and just the racial fabric of our society and what that does to people. This was written during the Obama years. So, you know, I mean, people yeah. like, to, like to point to that as being post-racial, but, you know, yeah. I think it's just, it, it, what she tries to what she tries to say is that, you know, this is something that's deeply woven into the American fabric. Yeah. Subtitle is, you know, it's Citizen and American Lyric. Mm -hmm. And that and American Lyric part is, the part that I lean on the most. To me, this play is more of a song. One note leads to another, there are solos, there, there are changes in dynamics. It's almost like, you know, we're, we're, we're a small, you know, I mean, a sextet up there. It is a piece that you will see and you will walk away, and if you do not say, ah, I've done that before, you've known someone who has. And I feel like it's a great educational piece. It's almost like a mirror that's being held up to say, look at what you're doing. I think it's wonderful, especially when you have the young people yeah. that get up and speak their truth and say, at their young ages, to be able to say, this is me. I, I see this, this has happened to me. And they're so young already and speaking about things that life that we speak about that are happening to them right now. They leave the theater and get stuck in the parking lot at their cars with their friend and, and, they, and they end up having these hours long conversations. They can't even get in their car because now it's processing and you know, and then you get home and maybe three days later something is sparked and you're still thinking about it. What I'd want an audience member to leave with is a lasting impression and the gift of reflection uh, to, to, to reflect on everyday experiences and their past and their present and hopefully their future and the discussion. If we just speak to each other and some of the conversations are difficult, but unless we have these difficult conversations, we can't move forward. So hopefully this is a spark to start those small conversations. It doesn't have to be a giant, you know, nationwide, worldwide movement. Very small if you can talk to one person and listen to and understand each other and, and, and you know, one by one. This production, this piece, is more than just a play. It's, um, it's really an event. It's like a, a town hall gathering because after people see this work, they want to talk. 
Uh, they want to engage, and to me, there is no higher calling for theater than to trigger that kind of conversation. We just need to really listen to one another and just take a moment to reflect sometimes on what we've heard, and maybe even research a little bit, and don't believe everything that's just thrown in your face, you know. Take a moment to find out what the truth really is and what's going on. There's a lot of that out there, so I just encourage people to listen, which is something I shared last night. Thank you.